All right, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about something just a little bit different. We got a whole new setup here. I'm gonna try not to talk about that, but inevitably it's gonna happen because it just happens. But what we're gonna focus on today is something nobody ever tells you about, and that is glasses after you've had some sort of corrective eye surgery. Now, whether that's cataract surgery or LASIK or something, just something that changes the power of your eyes so that you can see better without glasses. Yeah, that gets dicey, but we're gonna get into it anyways and see. <laughs> well, I hope we're gonna see. Now, all jokes aside, it is important, of course, if you have cataracts, you need to have cataract surgery and address that if the world's all yellow or dim or you can't see things, you know, talk to your optometrist, talk to your eye doctor specialist, whatever it is, uh, the optometrist, if it's necessary, will refer you to the ophthalmologist for that surgery, just in case. Now, as far as actual LASIK corrective eye surgery, just purely for cosmetics, whether you don't want to wear glasses or whether you're a stronger minus, and it's just going to be better for you to have better vision in the event you're not wearing glasses. Even if things don't come out perfect and you don't see perfectly without glasses, you won't need them to absolutely function. Oh, you high myope people, minus nine and above, your world ends. Well, I'm minus two, mine ends right there. Yeah, minus nine is like in here the world that's it that's all you've got it's right here nothing else everything is fuzzy beyond that shapes are hard to recognize it's difficult mm -hmm. say the world ends and you don't have glasses you're in kind of a tough spot to handle that's just some of the reasons you would want to do that but what we want to actually focus on is now you've had your whatever surgery and you need glasses now what happens? You've had this minus six or minus nine or plus three or whatever eye your entire life. Things didn't go perfectly. You still need something to see sharply with or say you had cataract surgery and you have just the monofocal implants and you can see far away great, but you still need some help to read with. Well, in your case, if you were that myopic person before surgery, things are mostly gonna be okay depending on what the power of your eyes come out at now. And I will get back to that in a minute. We'll talk about some of the challenges you face there. And if there's a difference between the eyes, what happens then? Well, that's a whole other matter and it gets pretty interesting in glasses. There's more things we can do about it now than we used to. In fact, I have a whole video about that. We'll throw a card up for that over here. But in terms of just needing glasses after surgery. The thing nobody really gets into, and I don't even think most people really understand this concept, now the modern freeform designs account for how your eye is, basically the way your eye's made. It's all based on axial length, center of rotation. Basically the way our eyes move is calculated from what the power of the prescription is. They use the numbers in the prescription to determine what the average eye with that prescription is. And based on the design of particularly progressive wares, the corridor channel that accommodates and how your eye works to use that. So you can see how things get fuzzy, yeah, probably fuzzy or hairy or awkward really, really quickly. So in the terms that are a little more basic, what it amounts to is the way the lens is made is for what your eye is now, not really what your eye is after the surgery. So it's not to say it's gonna be bad, but it's not gonna be what it could be. That's, again, particularly with the progressive lenses, it seems to make the most difference. With the single vision lenses, I haven't seen as much trouble with that, at least assuming both of your eyes are pretty close. And I say that with a catch and a snicker because I have seen this for years, back before we had the really cool extended depth of field implants after cataract surgery. Hey, let's do 
one eye so you can see the distance, one so you can see up close. That's great until you need depth perception or glasses. Pick one because <laughs> that's where you're at now. And you know, the, we can do isoconic lenses, as I mentioned, that balance out the power between the eyes. So the magnification isn't as much of an issue, but the eyes are still far different from what they were before surgery. And now you've got the added issue of the eyes being not what they were. You throw all this stuff into one little mixing box and you shake it all up and you say, hey, now let's do this. And that's kind of like trying to, you know, I don't know, drive a monster truck around a racetrack. <laughs> You'll get results. <laughs> I don't know that they're the results anybody would want. It could make for some great TV and fun stories, as the case may be. The fun ones after cataract surgery. God, I love them. I was talking to somebody about this today. Inspiration for the video. And we were having a good little laugh about how the doctors would always send the people out after cataract surgery. Hey, one day post-op, check out. Everything's great. Your one eye is a minus seven. Your one eye doesn't need anything anymore. We got it perfect. Plano, no prescription. You see 2020 off at a distance with nothing there. Cool. Except these are still minus seven over both eyes. And you don't want to get that Plano lens over here yet. Oh boy, the times I've been asked. Can you just put a blank lens over here? Because I know I need the protection, but I can't see out of that minus seven lens anymore. Well, yes. You will absolutely hate it. I can definitely put a non-prescription lens in that one eye for you. It'll be terrible, absolutely terrible. Are you sure? I really think it'll be fine. The doctor said, sure, it's quicker. Let me just pop the lens out and you can see for yourself. Every single time, it's like a deer in headlights. They hand the glasses, here you go. You put the glasses on. Oh. Can you put that lens back in? Yeah, well, the great thing there is for the glasses, I can put it back in, at least then the world looks sort of normal. It's fuzzy, but <laughs> it's, it's tolerable. Your brain can handle it at least. I just threw my remote down. Now, where this gets really fun is that exact person. They were a minus seven, now they're Plano. Now they've had both eyes done. Still need help for here, here, reading, tasks, computer, things like that. Now we still need that extra help there. Cool, no problem. Get you single vision set, you'll see out here, perfect. You'll see out here, perfect. You get a pair for each, all good. Okay, but I wanna just walk around like I did before and have my glasses on. I didn't mind wearing glasses. You didn't then. You probably will now. We can do it. Do it all the time. Some of my favorite people are people that were hyper ropes before cataract surgery and now don't need anything. You guys love it. It's great for you, not for everybody else. Myopes, eh, eh. They come out Plano, it's great. They come out a little minus, excellent. No problem, I can fix you up. The problem is when you shift directions. So now you say, you know, these minus seven guys, I keep throwing it up. I don't know why it's been minus seven my entire life, but it's always the minus seven. It just is, I'm sorry. So the minus seven comes in. I don't know they're a minus seven. They're now plus a quarter, plus two, plus 250, whatever. Quarter for distance, no problem. 250 for near, no problem. You want a progressive lens, your eye was a minus seven before, well, now we got a problem. What it amounts to is back to that axial length problem I mentioned before with progressive lenses, their eye is longer than an eye with a plus prescription. It's just the way it works, it's the anatomy of the eye. When you have a high minus prescription, your eye is typically elongated, and that's where the need for the minus comes. Your eye supplies more plus power. Well, the physics change dramatically when you go from a Plano or a minus, when you go from a minus to now a plus, the curvature of that front is going to be very different than what it was before. You're gonna have more magnification. You're gonna have more peripheral blur than you had in progressive lenses before. 
most importantly, and the most funny one I will ever. It's not funny at the time. It's not funny for the person that needs the glasses, but it will still always be one of those memories I'll look back on and just laugh. And I am really, I feel sorry for you if you're this person. So you did it. You went, you had the surgery, your eyes came out great. Now you're a plus a quarter. 250 ad. Want progressive lenses, just wear them all the time. It's always there, the power I need. I don't have to take glasses on and off. You would have been better off doing that. Now you put the progressives on. <laughs> you can see everything's crisp. Your brain says, hold up. I don't like this. <laughs> this ain't good. Well, yeah, now there's more magnification there and your eyes are used to spying all the magnification on their own. The world looks funny and your brain don't like it at all. The, <laughs> we're getting there. Has hands on the desk, okay? And just looking at this person, incidentally, played piano. <laughs> Can't play the piano because my fingers look like hot dogs. I don't know where they are on the keys. <laughs> I swear, I couldn't make this up if I wanted to, okay? <laughs> There's some things you just can't make up. The reality of it is enough to do when it needs to. Uh, so that's the kind of thing you have to face. Now, 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 that was eight years ago. I've learned some tricks that are better for that type of situation, but it's still not great. You can't get past the physics of the thing. It's kind of the gravity of the situation. There is only so much that can be done optically to correct what's going on in here. And yeah, like it or not, we see with our brains and our brains like to see a certain thing. <laughs> and when it changes that much, it gets interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean that in the nicest way possible from my angle on the table. It's not so fun because I don't know if you guys have figured this out. If you've been on the channel for long, I like to figure these problems out. When somebody says I look down and I see hot dogs, after I'm done laughing, I will try to figure out a way to solve this problem. Now, again, ultimately, now I know tricks that are a little better for that. They're still not great. It's still, it's still a big change for the brain. It's, it's interesting. And it's not one of those, it just feels weird. It's going to get better with time. It's just you put them on and the brain says, no, no, I don't like this. We're not doing this. You can wear it, you can get through it. I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be perfect, it's not. It's just one of those things. It's gonna be weird when you put the glasses on because you're not gonna take those glasses and you're not gonna wear them straight through anymore, right? You're not gonna put them on from the time the sun comes up till the time you go down. This is not gonna happen. I don't know, some people do. I've seen a few over the years, but for the most part, when you suddenly don't need glasses anymore, you're just gonna not wear them as much. It happens. It's part of it. Well, people that have gone into contacts for the first time, same thing kind of happens. It's not a huge deal. I get it. Some of us wear glasses. It doesn't matter. I'll wear glasses even if I didn't need them anymore. I'd still wear glasses. I can literally take mine off and function. The world's fine. I can see out here plenty fine, which for everything I do, it's plenty. You walk into my shop one day, I'm liable to not be wearing glasses. Just, you know, depends on what I'm working on. If I'm working right here, I might actually not have them on. It's rare, mind you, but it happens. All that to say that you tend to not want to wear them as much when you suddenly don't rely on them anymore. And it has literally been the thing that makes your entire life happen before. It's just not going to do it. I don't know why. It's one of those things. It's like how the prescription shifts so much after the surgery, and then you put the glasses on. You go, what the hell is going on, Matt? I don't understand this. I don't like it. I can see fine, but I don't like it. <laughs> That's happened once, too. Yeah. I'm going to stop rambling there because this has gotten sidelined off track. Short little summary here. If you have had some sort of corrective surgery or are you considering having some sort of corrective surgery, 
just keep in mind, glasses are gonna be different now that you've done it. Things have changed in your eye and you're gonna change the physics of what's in front of your eye afterwards. It's great if you come out and you don't need it anymore, but eventually at some point, somewhere down the line, you're gonna need glasses again. So just keep this in mind as you're researching and hopefully you found this video before rather than after because these are the naughty little secrets nobody ever tells you. <laughs> oh, on that note, now I've got my remote that I just threw down back. I will catch you guys next time. Let me know what you thought of this video. And as I said, I have tried some new things here and I'll be shifting it up as we go along, make a nice background, whatever. If you have suggestions for that, let me know because obviously I wanna see, I wanna do what you guys see. Now my face is all weird. Let's just go all colors, why not? I matched the colors to what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, for real this time.